Good morning, it's Saturday morning here and um, yeah, I'm not going to go to work, hurrah! Here um, the postman's been <coughs> and delivered me a package from art, that's as in being creative, from the heart, as in um, our heart. Um, and it's an amazing website and look at how lovely this looks when it arrives. So, um, yeah, I'm going to unpack it so that I can show you what delights are in here. But I wanted to show you how beautiful and how lovely the packaging is when it arrives. Um, they're pretty, pretty quick at delivering. They stock all the Jane Davenport store. And this is what the postman bought me today. Wow. How excited am I? So let's grab some watercolour paper and have a look. So we're going to have a look at these ones. These are the shimmer ones. Uh, they are uh, mermaid markers and they are the celestial sky. So they're all sparkly. How excited. I'm easily excited, particularly when it comes to art materials. So let's get these ones out here. I'm not um, by any means uh, paid by Jane Davenport, because I say I've ordered these from Heart, from the Art from the Heart. So when they arrive, you have to take off, that's it, these little collars. The first time you screw them in, they can be a little bit tight because they kind of, you might hear it, they sometimes click that last one dead. Because you're kind of piercing it for the first time. That's it, that one clicked. Now, I've seen someone use these shimmer on uh, YouTube. And you have to shake them up first. With them being brand new, I'm going to need to um, prime them so I've just got a bit of scrap. Oh, wow. So this one is meteorite. Wow. That's yummy. So it's like a silver. And this one is, I'm going to prime this right on here. This one is a gold colour. What's this one called? Falling Star. And then we've got... <coughs> This one, which is black hole, which is like a, it's like a, a pewter colour. So it's not really black. It's a dark silver or pewter colour. And this one's called moonbeam. Let's have a look. So this is a very, very pale grey. That one's not particularly sparkly. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be or not. Okay, again. That's quite nice actually. For a, yeah, it does it does shimmer, but only when it's starting to dry off. <coughs> now you can see there, it's beginning to shimmer. So they are uh, Celestial Sky Skies Jane Davenport markers, and then we'll go to these next ones, which are sun bleached. Mm. I love her packaging that is just just look at this how yummy is that so again taking off these colors and just clicking them in so this one is seashell come on then seashell so what I'm just doing is um, colouring out with them to see how um, how pale they can go. So this is conch. So that's a beautiful, beautiful pink. This one is lagoon. 
as you might guess, Lagoon is a blue colour. There we are, here we go. I'm just excited beyond belief. They're not cheap, these Devonport markers, paint pens rather. They're called mermaid markers to be fair. But um, they're just so lovely to use. Oh, that one doesn't look like it's... That's it. Oh, sorry, that last one was called Sandbar. This one is Barley Blue, which looks quite green, actually. So look. It might be the colour of the sea in barley. Having never been to barley, I don't know. That's yum. <coughs> and this one is driftwood, so I'm assuming this one's going to be a brown colour. So I'm quite clear on it. That's it. Oh, that'll make a good skin tone as well for a, a non-Caucasian skin. So that one's Driftwood. And the final pack that came this morning, these are Shipwreck Colours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them kind of in this order I've put them in so that I can mark them up um, on my swatch. So this one is kelp, which I think is a kind of seaweed. Not sure, or is it? A, I'm not sure what it is actually. Oops. That's better. I've managed to blub with that one. So that's kelp. Is kelp a fish? Is it a plankton? Seaweed? Don't know. Hey ho. Shark's Eye, this one's called. Oh, so that's very, very black. Very, very black. But that's quite nice. This one's Squid Ink. Oh, so that's the blue. I don't know if you can see that. Quite nice blue. So these are quite dark colours, these shipwrecks. This one looks like it's going to be a red of some description. That's a lot. Octopus. Oh, it's kind of a brownie. Um, mixture of brown and red. I'll get some, um, I'll get my water brushes on them in a minute and have a look at what they look like on me. That's a beautiful mauve colour. That's gills. And the last one. This one is Stormy Seas. So that's kind of a greyish colour. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> if I grab a water brush and see what happens when I bring some of these in. Quite a pretty colour. Take some of the paint off. See, that's lovely.
you can get quite subtle blends. So now you can see the difference between that black and that one there. Different shades of grey. Let's see what happens when I try and spread this one out a bit. These might have These aren't as movable. That one's not anyway. That one's quite lovely. <coughs> so you get a lovely, lovely shade of yeah, yellow there. Okay, if I don't create myself a green going off, but let's just blend it to green. Ooh, that's yummy. So you've got distinctive shades, different shades. So, reds are notorious in water colours and pink, and not lifted. That's blending. And lastly, now I wonder whether the metallics reactivate. What do they do? Mm -hmm. Oops, I contaminated that one. So there you are. That's what the postman bought me this morning.